Now this is a queen castle here. This is a standard size deep that's been partitioned off into four sections. Each section holds two frames of bees and each section also has its own entrance hole. To get in this section, there's a hole here. To get in this section, there's a hole on this side. To get in this section, there's a hole here. And the far one is on the far side. Now also, on the partitions, is lids that fit each, each partition. And the frames are pretty much centered in each section. Each section contains two frames. Now what this makes it really easy to do is to, uh, to get queens mated or to raise queens and get them mated with just a small quantity of bees. Now on top here, since the, the, the quantity of bees is small, on the top what I did is I've made feeders holes for uh, pint sized mason jars. If I remove these lids, as you can see, I've numbered them here and here. That way I make sure I get each lid in. There's two, three, and four. Now down in the bottom, let me stand it up here. Down in the bottom I do have uh, vent holes <coughs> covered in screen. I chose the bottom because when I uh, experimented with this before, I put vent holes on the side and with all the, the entrance holes on this box, the ventilation on the side was confusing the bees. They couldn't figure out where to get in and where not to get in. So I switched it out put it on the bottom. Now on each one of the entrances I do have one of these wheels which I have made you know there you can restrict it down here you've got just vent holes and there you've got the large entrance hole and as you can see these partitions are removable I can make one section bigger than the other and how I did that was is there's a groove this runs down in and sits on. You know, it is very important that your lids fit tightly. You don't want to uh, be getting in section two and have bees from three flooding out. So it's very important that your your lids fit tightly and secure like you can see if I'm working on on the bees in section two one three and four are completely sealed so I can get in here and work these bees this is just a it's just a, a brief uh, description of a queen castle and what I do when I have the feeder sitting feeding jar sitting on top and I just throw another box on top. That closes it in and and uh, keeps me from worrying about robbing or or the jars blowing off or, or anything like that. So there you go, queen castle. Simple way to uh, get your queens mated and uh, not have to put a whole lot of bees into the effort. So there you go.